Hi, welcome to the Sunday Preview. We're really excited about this upcoming Sunday. And as a quick reminder, there is only one service this Sunday at nine o'clock. You'll also be able to view that on Facebook and YouTube, and it will still air at the 11 o'clock time for 104.9. This service, individual services, is meant to celebrate our Christian Learning Center. Our Christian Learning Center is a ministry out of our church uh, serving the kids and parents in our community. It's a full-time daycare run here in the building, and it's a wonderful opportunity for us to share love with our community as we outreach uh, to as many kids and families as possible. And there is some room for growth in there, so come on Sunday and learn more about that. But in this celebration, we're excited to offer a time for the kids and the teachers and the leaders to lift up not only their presence in worship, but share in our worship as well as they offer song and scripture reading and other messages. So come on Sunday and enjoy that wonderful time as we celebrate the Christian Learning Center. Uh, the focus this week will be on Hebrews chapter 2, verses 10 through 18. And the title is Children of God. And hear now the word for this message. In bringing many sons and daughters to glory, it was fitting that God, for whom and through whom everything exists, should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through what he suffered. Both the one who makes people holy and those who are made holy are of the same family. So Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters. He says, I will declare your name to my brothers and sisters. In the assembly, I will sing your praises. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, he says, here am I and the children God has given me. Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humility so that by his death, he might break the power of him who holds the power over death that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by their fears of death. For surely it is not angel he, angels he helps, but Abraham's descendants. For this reason he had to be made like them, fully human in every way, in order that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in service to God, and that he might make atonement for the sins of the people, because he himself suffered when he was tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. We're excited for you to come and worship with us this upcoming Sunday. Again, one service at 9 o'clock in our Family Life Center. We'll also celebrate together in our evening service at the chapel at 5 o'clock. And that will be focusing on Revelation chapter 2, verses 2 through 4. I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked people that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them false. You have persevered and have endured hardships for my name and have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. So come and join us this upcoming Sunday. We're looking forward to celebrating in so many ways with you. That is the nine o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the evening, and we look forward to worshiping with you. Until then, God bless.